Okay, today we're going to learn about reference angles and trigonometry. So reference angles represented with a theta sub r. A reference angle is always a positive, acute, or right angle to the x-axis. Okay, angles of rotation. So if I start here, if I have an angle, call it theta, of 150 degrees, I always start on the x-axis. I rotate counterclockwise to 150 degrees. That's my terminal side. My reference angle is this angle here, a positive acute angle to the x-axis. So if theta equals 150, theta sub r is equal to 30. The two angles are supplementary. Let's take a look at a third quadrant value. So let's say I have 205 degrees is theta. I start here, I rotate counterclockwise, 90, 180, 205. There's my terminal side. Back to the x-axis is 25 degrees. So my reference here is 25 degrees. If I'm in the first quadrant, my angle and my reference are the same. So if my angle is 73 degrees, my reference as well is 73 degrees. Okay. And lastly, let's take a look at a fourth quadrant value. Let's say I rotate from here, counterclockwise 90, 180, 270, 320. So my angle, theta, is 320 degrees. My reference angle is how far is it up to the x-axis? 40 degrees. So my reference is 40 degrees. Always positive, always acute, always to the x-axis.